I probably started painting when I was like three or four years old. And the reason I paint, it's always been an outlet for stress and a way to relax and sort of just kind of get grounded again and centered. And since I think so much about identity, it's such a cool way to sort of channel what I want to express about myself or my feelings or something there in that moment. So I can put it on paper and kind of have this thing to reflect on later and say, oh, like, I wonder what's going through my mind then. <laughs> so in talking about painting, it's this clear metaphor for counseling, but at the same time, I really see it as this sort of way of looking at identity. Everyone will bring in a different painting if you tell them to go home and paint a flower. But if you have the same person painting a couple different paintings day by day, there's some connective trend that sort of is their expression of themselves. So you can always sort of see this little bit of, hey, I know who made that. I really see painting as this thing that helps me in understanding my studies and studying racial identity with Dr. Helms at the Lynch School. It's sort of this thing that kind of lets me stay creative in thinking about all these really complex topics and these things that are being studied. I had the opportunity to work with the Institute for the Study and Promotion of Race and Culture and they've been a source of support both academically and just personally throughout the process, but it's a place where I'm really not only learning from one of like the most theorists on racial identity in the world, but also working with other students who are doing research in the same areas and really learning from my peers as well as the faculty. And it's sort of this like microcosm of the kind of support academically and personally that I get within the mental health counseling program, more generally within the Lynch School, where the faculty are supportive, my classmates are supportive and engaging and challenging me intellectually, and also have practicum opportunities that just the DC name takes you so far, and they have so many relationships with wonderful training sites, so that I know that I'm really getting that field training that helps me apply everything I learn in classes. And that's really why I'm here, it just is the best place for me to grow as a student and as a clinician and as you know, a scholar and researcher.